with a blast of the Chernobyl nuclear reactor on April 26, 1986, went down in human history as the worst man-made disaster. It shocked the world and shattered the communist empire. Soviet authorities delayed evacuation. Trying to prevent panic, they withheld information from the people and rejected international help. They tried to quell the smolder by pouring chemicals on the reactor from helicopters, and that was one of their mistakes. Chernobyl claimed and maimed hundreds of lives in the first several months. Thousands died after years. And the death toll seems to be infinite. The children who were exposed to radiation 20 years ago have their own children now. And this new generation is marked. The once beautiful and lavish lands are doomed to pose a life hazard for decades and maybe centuries to come. Twenty years ago, through incredible exertion of heroic efforts, the nuclear monster was confined in a steel and concrete structure, which has become dangerously unstable. The destroyed reactor still harbors tons of fissile materials, emitting increasing quantities of radioactive dust. This problem could be solved, at least partly, by a new confinement. But there are other, no less serious problems. Millions of cubic meters of radioactive waste to be reprocessed or disposed of. Hundreds of laid-off personnel to be retrained and provided with jobs. And thousands of other people to be rehabilitated physically, psychologically and socially. Chernobyl has taught men better, but important lessons. Nature is too fragile an organism to endure inconsiderate intrusions. In the new technological age, local accidents have global impacts that demand global solutions. Public awareness must be a sine qua non for decision making. Has man learned these lessons 